AI has definitely made life a lot simpler over the past couple of years, and if you're someone that works in an industry where you've got to come up with graphics, presentations, or PowerPoints on a regular basis, I may have found the very best use case for AI. In this video, I'll be partnering with Gamma.app, which is a software that lets you use AI to create projects like presentations, media kits, and even full-blown websites with no skill required. You don't have to know how to code or design this does everything for you. I'll even be creating a media kit for MKBHD. This ought to be fun. Let's go ahead and get started. I've been playing with Gamma now for a few days and I just want to kind of walk you through the process of how to use this. So jumping over to the dashboard, after about five minutes of kind of messing around with this, I pretty much learned how to use this totally. So it's very intuitive and very self-explanatory. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and create a new project. So we'll go create new. You have a few different options here. So you have this paste in text. If you're already working on a project and you just want this to kind of make everything a little more polished, then you can copy your project directly into this. And I'll show you how to do that here in a second. My favorite option here is generate. So this requires basically zero skills. You don't need to know any kind of coding or anything like that. And then you have another option here, import file or URL. So this can enhance your existing documents if you already have like a PowerPoint or something like that. You just need some enhancements, that option is there. So we'll go to this paste in text and I'm literally going to copy some text that I already have for a project that I was working on. I'll just paste it in here. You have some options here. I'm doing a presentation, but you also have for document, social, or web page. I'm gonna generate from notes or an outline. Then we'll go to the next step here. This is where it gets really fun. So you have your options back again, generate, condense, or preserve. You can have this as detailed or as minimal as you want here and it's telling you who to write it for, the tone that you want it to be in, and then down here you can choose the different types of images that you wanna show up in your project. So AI images, it's gonna automatically generate images. You can pull from stock images, web images, this will create brand new AI images. They even have animated GIFs. We'll look at that also here in just a minute. You've got a couple of different AI models here to choose from. I'll just go with this Flux Context Fast. All right, so we'll click Generate. Now we'll choose our theme. So the one that I keep going back to is this Aurora theme. I think this looks really sharp and I just like the color scheme. Now we'll hit Generate and this is going to do all the work for us while I just sit back and do nothing. So as you can see, it's already generating my presentation and it's super satisfying to watch this do the work that would have taken me many hours, many different tools to be able to create this. So I probably would have been over on ChatGBT creating some images. Uh, I would have been in a PowerPoint um, kind of typing all this in. Otherwise, it would have taken several hours here. It's taking literally a minute to create my entire presentation. And it looks way better than anything that I would have been able to come up with anyhow. So we go to this present, we can see it in a presentation form. All right, so right off the bat, this has some really cool graphics to kind of pull you in. We've got um, our top information right here at the top. We click over to the next slide. This is giving some examples of before and after using the 8K, so this is really neat. This gives some critical details here, 26 mile per hour follow speed with 37 mile per hour burst speed. Um, and I love how it kind of makes that its own slide because that's one of the main key selling points of this product that I was reviewing. And I like how it just kind of puts all that information on its own slide. It knows that that's super important. I love how the images that the AI created actually goes with the content here. It's super smart in that way. All right, so with this, you can edit this. So we'll go back to the presentation. I'll go ahead and pull it up here. And if there's anything that's incorrect, like maybe this is not how the brand wants their logo, maybe they want this all caps, you can go ahead and edit that. And then also if you don't like the image that it created, you can just jump over here and edit the image. Let's see, maybe I wanna replace with a smaller drone, with a smaller slimmer drone. Much better, all right, so you can go through here and change the style of the card here. Maybe you want this to be um, just, maybe you want the image over on the right instead of the left. Maybe you want it to be 
no image at all, you have all of these options. It's just insane how polished this looks. So if you're on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, maybe you've been approached by a brand, they ask you for your media kit and a lot of us scratch our head and we're like, where do we even start? So I know that's how I've been in the past. This creates a perfect media kit. So I'm gonna go back to this create. I'm gonna go to generate and I'm gonna do presentation once again. And this time I'm gonna go uh, create a media kit for the MKBHD channel. All right, and we'll go ahead and generate the outline. So in just a few seconds here, we're gonna have all of the information that it's able to pull uh, that's known on the web. All right, so what's crazy is it actually goes through and knows the demographics. So how does it know the demographics? I'm not sure if those have been posted somewhere on the internet. That may have been something that would have taken me a very long time to come up with, but it found it there and it has it posted. Also, if you find out that there's anything here that is inaccurate, you can go through and change that. We know that Marquez did interview Mark Zuckerberg, but maybe he didn't, we could erase that there. Instead of featuring the interview of CEO, we could say he also, also interviewed Kobe Bryant, which is pretty cool. You can go through here and edit this and present information that you wanna include or information that's more important, or maybe if there are corrections that need to be made, you can do that there. Here we can choose a proper theme. So I think for MKBHD, we need to view more themes here and probably find something that's red and black. So we'll just kind of scroll through here and see if we see anything that's red and black. That is more of a red and black theme, which would be more fitting with uh, MKBHD's channel. So we'll select this theme and we can go extensive for more details or minimal if we want the brand to just be able to very quickly find out information about us. Instead of AI images here, I'm gonna go with animated GIFs and we will generate. Right off the bat here, we've got a Simpsons character screaming that his car needs premium. I need premium, dude. That's pretty funny. Once again, we have the most important details here front and center, so it knew to do that, 19 million subscribers, four and a half billion total views, 15 years of trusted content here. We've got Marquez Brownlee, I'm doing my job. Uh, that's pretty cool. And the audience here, lady chewing on popcorn. This is really great. And then they've got some dudes dapping it up for collaboration formats. Audience engagement and performance metrics, that's super important when you're talking to a brand. And I love how it automatically threw that in there as a chart. So without having to go into another tool and generate a chart, the chart's there, easy to read, very quickly, easy to see. If we wanted to change out this GIF with something else, we can go to Ask AI again. We'll go back to the GIFs here and, all right, there's a specific one that I'm thinking of. All right, so we'll put that one in there. And I'd rather have it here there we go, can't wait. All right, you can actually move the image as well so that you can recenter or put this however you want it here. Everyone knows the meme, so if they can't read it, I think that's okay. All right, so this is our final, this is our final product. Let's go to present. So this is exactly what the brand would see if we sent this to them. All right, once again, super polished. Would have taken me hours to come up with this and it did it in just a few minutes. And with a little bit of minor editing, I've got the project fully ready to go. Another thing that's super useful for someone like me that's on YouTube would be a landing page. So with that landing page, you can send people to your other social media channels. If you have affiliate links, you can send them to those affiliate links there. Maybe you have a special brand deal and you wanna give them the first link on your landing page. Um, this is where you can make that and Gamma will host it for you as well, which I thought was definitely a major perk. So you don't even have to worry about buying hosting and setting that up. That's another skill set that you would have to come up with, but here it does it for you. Generate, create a web page, create a landing page for the YouTube channel, Shane Starnes, and include all social media links. All right, we'll try that and see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's got my TikTok, my Instagram. All right, so we'll go with this and I can go with Aurora again. I 
kind of matches my current branding. So we'll generate this. This is a pretty slick looking landing page. I actually really like this. So you can go in here and you can actually create links here. So this, there's the subscribe now link. I can actually put in the link, which looks like it's already done but maybe that's the wrong link because that is not the link to my channel, but we'll go, uh, we'll just go at Droid Modder X. You can even test the link. So to make sure that it's the correct link, you can go to visit site and it brings up my TikTok there. So that's what the people would land on if they clicked on that. If we go to this follow me, it has the correct Instagram account there as well. Once again, you can test the link just to make sure. All right, and maybe you wanna change this. I, I actually love the image here, but maybe you wanna change this to something else. An image in the same theme of phones, laptops, headphones, robot vacuums, and power stations. Let's just see what it comes up with here. Okay, I actually really like this even better. I think that looks really cool, really sleek. This is a very clean, concise, minimal landing page. We could add a new card. So maybe we just want to put in, uh, we can generate this and say, make a page to feature my affiliate links. All right, so I would really like that. We go to share we can publish to site. So I'll go ahead and publish to site. So this is really cool. You can either publish this to the free gamma.site domain that they can provide for you, or you can send this to your own custom domain. And it says it's ready to publish. So we'll go ahead and publish. Now I'm gonna go ahead and visit the website. And here is my working landing page. So we're gonna subscribe now. That's gonna take you directly to my YouTube channel. If we go to follow me, that'll take you over to my TikTok. So this is a working landing page that I was able to create in just a few minutes and send over to a website that was provided by Gamma. Super interesting, super awesome stuff. As you can see, there are a ton of things that you can do with this awesome software without any skills. I especially like how this was able to build a very high polished media kit in just a few minutes that I could easily edit and make it my own. If you're not very good at design or maybe you just don't have tons of time to dump into a side project like a website, this is definitely a great resource. I'll be sure to include links in the description so you can find out more information about Gamma.app and try it out for yourself. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.